United States Geological Survey, in cooperation with the National Weather Service and the Federal Office of Emergency Management, has issued a civil danger message, effective until further notice, for people in the following areas. In Washington, from a line beginning at Mount Rainier National Park's eastern border up to the Canadian border across to the Pacific Ocean, down to the border with Oregon and back to the starting point at Mount Rainier. At 2.24 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, researchers and volcanologists at Mount Rainier National Park received data from their alert units and seismometers that are located on the rim and mountainside. This data indicates strong motion beneath the surface of the mountain, which could lead to volcanic activity within the next week to 10 days. Already several minor earthquakes, which registered as less than 4.0 on the Richter scale have been reported in the area during the past three days. Should the volcano erupt, it is surmised that it will erupt toward the west, bringing lava flow, ash fall, landslides and leaving entire forests and neighborhoods destroyed. Persons within the warned area should make plans to evacuate as soon as possible. The Red Cross, with the help of local volunteers and National Guard, is setting up shelters for those who need a place to stay. Mount Rainier National Park is closed to visitors as is Snoqualmie National Forest. If you do not have an evacuation plan, now is the time to create one. Do not wait until it is time to evacuate. Figure out now how you will get out of the area. Remember, the best time to evacuate is before an evacuation becomes mandatory. Leaving early will better your chances of escape. Keep listening to your NOAA weather radio, local radio or television station for updates and new information as it becomes available.